Well, I hope, I hope number one, it's, it's, it's inspiring. So I hope that the students who have, I mean, we, all have our, we all have challenges, whether it's a physical disability or not. And so I'm hoping that you know, the students kind of reflect on, you know, I'm really struggling with this class, but I'm not going to give up. I'm really struggling with this, but I'm not going to give up. And just that kind of persevering attitude um, about the obstacles that we all encounter in our lives. So I think number one, that's, that was my message. I think, I think as a, you know, at nine years old, my, my, the deterioration for, of my vision was pretty slow. And so I didn't, I didn't really have a full awareness of how much my vision had changed. And so when, when I was told that, that I was by classification, I would say, you know, you're legally blind because you're visually, based on my visual acuity, you know, my, re my reaction was just, no, I'm not. You know, like I, I felt like I was still sighted. Um, but then it became sort of a learning process throughout my lifetime of, oh yeah, I do see the world a lot differently. And realizing how much better everyone else can see and some, sometimes almost being amazed. I'm going to catch myself, you know, seeing someone when they're reading the newspaper or looking at a sign or they see people across a room and then it, all those moments are kind of reminders like, oh, that's right, gosh, that my vision is really different and and so I think sort of my life has been sort of a learning process of coming to these realizations throughout my, my life and 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 coming to an acceptance of it also but 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 not it, it's never been something I've really ever dwelled on in in my life because I, I just don't think negative negative thoughts are going to be productive so I, I tend to be more optimistic and positive I really don't know. I think I was just a, a pretty active, um, strong-willed kid, and I think my disability even just um, made that attribute in me stronger. And so um, I took that. You know, I took that. I want to do that. I want to do it. I want to try that. I'm going to do it. I took that attitude, and it, it never went away. So even though my vision deteriorated um, by to me I'm still an athlete you know I'm still a teacher I'm still who I am and it's just a condition that I have but it's not who I am and so um, I think that determination was was instilled in me is probably who I am to begin with but I think my disability has really brought it out in me It's huge, it's huge because I can think back to my college days, which were, you know, the, the late 80s, <laughs> dating myself. But, you know, I was in college from 87 to 94, get my undergrad and graduate degrees. And, um, you know, I think computer technology at that time was pretty, <laughs> pretty archaic compared to what we have now. And, um, you know, for me to access my, my education in college, I needed readers, I needed note takers, I needed books on tape, you know. And now we have technology where um, we can put your whole textbook on your computer and you can listen to it with a screen reader and see it. You know, we can, um, you know, now professors do PowerPoint presentations. They can give me that PowerPoint and I can access it on my own computer. And so in the old days, it was a white erase board, it was a chalkboard, and it was me with some kind of binocular monocular trying to make out this scribble that was you know 50 feet away and today it's just right up close and I can access it um, you know with the, with the technology that I have and so it's really changed everything I think it's change it's changing how we learn and it's it's changing um, for everybody it's changing how we learn for everybody because I think even if you don't have a disability if you're a visual learner the technology is, is playing into that into that strength and, but for people with disabilities, it's, it's just our, it's our porthole to the world and it's, it's to our education, to our learning, to our communication.
<laughs> That's a very good question. Um, boy, the toughest race I've ever run, I'm going to probably say it was Boston Marathon. Uh, it was a pretty rough day. <laughs> and I held in there, hang, I hung in there, finished fifth, but a uh, very, very difficult day for me. Um, but um, sometimes, you know, some, sometimes the, uh, the, the fastest races you run aren't necessarily the hardest. And, you know, it's the other ones that people don't, don't, don't even think about. But definitely, I think Boston. <laughs>